always come in here trolling about yo. I think that nigga really wants Selena though, man. I'm gonna really just slide him the number though. You feel me? Even though Loki, I think she curved him one time. This thing is still like, you know what I mean? He ain't really want to tell the truth about what happened, man. He tried to he tried to slide on Shorty and she she kind of curved him. And keep her and, and keep in mind she was fucking everybody at that time, but she curved this nigga, so he ain't want to tell the truth. But we gonna get to the bottom of that shit. But yo, yo, tomorrow I'm gonna pop back on with this nigga, and we gonna have we gonna see if everything he's been saying about this chick, like how he deal with women, if it's cap, or we gonna see the action tomorrow. Feel me? We gonna have some good shit going on. Jay, you see here, nigga? This nigga probably muted up. Uh, somebody said, "Oh, uh, well, I'm gonna mute him." Oh, Kodak Black update. Yeah, Kodak Black. He actually hit me on DMs. He said, "Act, what's your number?" Me and him, we gonna talk. I did talk to his manager. If you didn't know, talked to his manager. Well, not. Well, let me just back off with that. It wasn't necessarily his manager. He don't. I don't think he has a manager. Talked to some. There were some people around him, and they confirmed to me, which I reported on a YouTube video. It wasn't him that got shot. Basically, they're saying that yo, there was nigga shit going on in that club. They were there. They then went to McDonald's, which was ironically the next door over. And basically, like, yeah, there was shots fired, but it wasn't at them. It was some other niggas that was getting in. Clearly, they ain't trying to give too much information up. And basically saying that Kodak ain't into it with nobody who would be shooting at, shooting at him. And basically saying, please don't think that the producer guy, which is Southside, is, is the shooter or whatever. You know what I mean? So... Basically, say he's cool. I believe Kodak, you know, and I think really, if you ask me, Kodak's hit me up to tell me, like, yo, act. Like, it might seem otherwise, and, yeah, I did kind of get into it. I said something about young boy, whatever, whatever, or I said something about whatever, but I really don't want to be no bullshit. I think that's what the temperature that Kodak's on. Kodak ain't pussy. You know, Kodak, man, Kodak hopped out of a Porsche Panamera and shot up some crib. Like, I, re I did that story for y'all. Kodak, if he need to do some shit, he'll do it his damn self. That's not what he's on. But he obviously, you know, is trying to stay out of jail. So, salute to him for that. And I respect it. Um, yeah. Drake update. I hit. I did hit Drake about the uh, Rod Wave thing. And I said, yo, did Rod Wave actually, was Rod Wave supposed to be on Lemon Pepper Freestyle? And he said, yo, act, yeah, he should have been. And I'm like, imagine Rod Wave on Lemon Pepper Freestyle. If you don't know the story goes, Rod Wave was supposed to be on Lemon Pepper Freestyle. He did the verse. He didn't like how it came out. And he said, yo, listen, because it's such a big deal being on a track with Drake, he ain't want to get washed or whatever the case is. So he said, yo, I'm just not going to do this song now. I could do a song later with Drake, which I think that's having the utmost confidence where you're like, yo, I don't have to do a song with Drake when he want me to do it. I'll do it when I feel it's right. I think that's dope. Um, update on Lil Uzi. I don't know too much about his upcoming music. I ain't gonna lie to you. Migos update. Oh, um, interestingly enough, take off. Hit me say, ask what's your number. So me and him, we gonna get on a call. Um, I'm, listen, I'm gonna make sure I listen to this phone call on 50 speakers because I won't be here like yo what you say nah, I ain't gonna do that so you know salute to uh, take off he's clearly you know ready for the Migos come back in their new wave and all that so you know salute to take off for like what he's been doing let me see what else yo I'm gonna talk about the young boy shit yo this young boy fucking yo I, I, I got all the court documents the young boy shit is hilarious from how they describe young boy ran from the cops how he's in like some luxury Maybach, like Mercedes Maybach truck, to how they describe like him and his homies get locked up. And pretty much it's like, I guess they once had like a discussion already. Everybody copped out to all the guns and they looked at young boy and he said, I don't, I didn't know it was guns. And the only reason why they locked him up because the DNA don't, don't even prove that young boy touched the gun. They saw it on the fucking cameraman's footage that young boy was around guns, bro. Like, um, those court documents so were so revealing. Young boy got a crib. He bought a crib for six hundred thousand dollars in Utah, 
which was supposed to be for his one of his baby mamas and stuff like that, but he was staying with her. Yo, young boys just a wild nigga, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. 